Blue Economy 2.0. For promoting climate resilient activities for Blue Economy 2.0, a scheme for restoration and adaptation measures and coastal aquaculture and mariculture with integrated and multi-sectoral approach will be launched. Comprehensive development of tourist centers. The success of organizing G20 meetings in 60 places presented diversity of India to global audience. Our economic strength has made the country an attractive destination for business and conference tourism. Our middle class also now aspires to travel and explore. Tourism, including spiritual tourism, has tremendous opportunities for local entrepreneurship. States will be encouraged to take up comprehensive development of iconic tourist centers, branding and marketing them at global scale. A framework for rating of the centers based on quality of facilities and services will be established. Long-term interest-free loans will be provided to states for financing such development on matching basis. To address the emerging fervor for domestic tourism, Honorable Speaker, sir, projects for port connectivity, tourism infrastructure, and amenities will be taken up on our islands, including Lakshadweep. This will help in generating employment also. Promoting investments. The FDI inflow during 2014 to 23 was 596 billion US dollars, marking a golden era that is twice the inflow during 2005 to 14. For encouraging sustained foreign investment, we are negotiating bilateral investment treaties with our foreign partners in the spirit of First Develop India. FDI is First Develop India. Reforms in the states for Vikasit Bharat. Many growth and development Enabling reforms are needed in the states for realizing the vision of Vikasit Bharat. For realizing the vision of Vikasit Bharat. A provision of 75,000 crore rupees as 50 year interest free loan is proposed this year to support those milestone linked reforms by the state governments. Societal changes. The government will form a high-powered committee for an extensive consideration of the challenges arising from fast population growth and demographic changes. The committee will be mandated to make recommendations for addressing these challenges comprehensively in relation to the goal of Vikasit Bharat. Amrit Kal as Kartavya Kal. Our government stands committed to strengthening and expanding the economy with high growth and to create conditions for people to realize their aspirations. Honorable Prime Minister in his Independence Day address to the nation in the 75th year of our republic said, and I quote, we commit ourselves to national development with new inspirations, new consciousness, new resolutions, as the country opens up immense possibilities and opportunities. It is our Kartavya Kar. Unquote. Every challenge of the pre-2014 era was overcome through our economic management and our rev governance. These have placed the country on a resolute path of sustained high growth. This has been possible through right policies, true intentions and appropriate decisions. In the full budget in July, Honorable Speaker, our government will present a detailed roadmap for our pursuit of Vikasit Bharat. 